hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic shot there, because I was all done on the Sonic after his Unbelievable Shaders mod, which makes your game look fan fucking -tastic. I mean, just just look at this. This is the default texture pack with the Shaders mod. I mean, it literally, it makes your grass all wavy and stuff, and your trees all wiggly and wobbly. And I don't know, it just makes the game just feel amazing. It, it kind of, I don't know, because, you know, you've been playing this game for so long, it kind of does need something new, and I mean, this doesn't take away from the game, this doesn't change your, you know, the game experience, it just makes it better. But, I don't know, but one of the big things about this mod is, I definitely want to mention it right off the bat, is if you're running off, of, you know, a little laptop or a, a jet desktop that you bought from Best Buy that's, it's like, crap, uh, that you're already getting live PS anyway, I do not recommend this mod one bit, but you can try it if you want, because it does have a light version that you can download. Uh, download is in the description, but uh, let's let's really just uh, get to looking at things here. I mean, just I mean, look at this. Oh, real quick, we have PS subject. I don't forget that. Look at the uh, what is it? What is it? Three. Oh shit! Three. This ah, there we go. 21 FPS. I'm looking at this. I'm running off of a yeah. I took a screenshot. Of some balls. Uh, I'm running off of a 777 quad core uh, 3.4 gigahertz processor. I mean, I'm still having a hard time running this mod. And I don't think. Uh, actually, I picked the highest setting as far as of this mod to download. You download the setting, and it's that's it. You don't change anything. And, and I'm running this with Optifine. And I'm only getting a 22 FPS. Plus a recording, so yeah, definitely don't, definitely don't run this on a crappy laptop or a crappy desktop. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it doesn't, doesn't, like I said, change anything about the game, but just the way it looks and just you know, the aesthetics of the game. I wouldn't recommend this mod for just doing a uh, local. Oh whoa! So no, no, it might be just me. No, yeah, the pains are completely different. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. Recommend this for just like a local game, just a, uh, you know, just a single player, because it does uh, make things look kind of bright, which I can't really show you here because it is getting dark out. But uh, let's watch this real quick, and then I will switch the time today. So that just that just looks amazing. I, I absolutely don't know what to say. This is the best mod I've ever seen for Minecraft. Let's see, let's do set time. Is it? Wow. I don't know. Time set day. Ha ha! There we go. It does uh, make things quite bright, as you can see right there. I mean, I don't know. It's really up to you. You can use this for a single player, but I'd recommend just for like you know showing off your builds or just doing like those slow mo scenes like I did. You know, just panoramic and blah and stuff like that. So, I mean, the verdict on the spot is really definitely get it if your computer can handle it. But if not, uh. You can get the light edition and see if your computer runs with it, but you know that's that's all up to you. Anyway, guys, systematic Sager here, mod review. Hit that like button, comment, tell me how you felt about this video. If I did a good job, if I just want to tell me how sexy I am, doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, systematic Sager, peace out.